Hi, this is Gary Wilson at America's Teaching Zoo at Moorpark College. Tigers communicate in a variety of ways. They use all the different senses, smell, hearing, uh, sight, touch even. So, and tigers are very much like your house cat at home. Have you ever had your, have you ever had your cat come up and rub against your leg? That's a greeting. And tigers do that too. When they meet each other, they'll rub their cheeks on each other. They have a scent gland on their neck and they're rubbing that scent on each other. They'll also put that scent on objects so that when a tiger comes along, it smells it and knows that uh, another tiger has been there. And then if they want to keep other tigers away, they'll scent mark with urine. Uh, and even they'll use scent glands in the pads of their feet. So a male tiger trying to protect his territory will jump up on a tree, grab the tree with his claws and scratch it with his hind claws and, and make that visual marker of his of claw marks but also get the scent from his feet into, onto that tree. Here at America's Teaching Zoo, we greet our tiger. She, when we walk up to the tiger, she greets us with a, a prusing, it's called, or we call it a chuff. And we try and imitate, when she's doing that, when she makes this sound, it, it sounds like <laughs> and it's a greeting. It's asking, who are you? What are you doing? And so she's, she's asking, who are we? So we chuff back to her, let her know that we're, uh, that we're friendly.